what's going on? Move the mouse here back in City Skylines, the town of Portsmouth with our Let's Play Season 7, Episode number 23. We just had a little fire in the park here. Looks a little crispy, but we're in pretty good shape. So let's get a, get a zoom out out of our, our town here. This is going to be a big project up here. I should, I should say down here, I guess. That's the northern part. That's Maine. Um, still going to get going on that. Portsmouth proper is uh, is pretty filled out. We still need to do some zoning over here. But we got to keep an eye on the traffic, make sure we're supporting it properly. We did a little trick over here to kind of smooth this out, and it's actually a lot better over this way now that we've done that. Uh, today though is kind of a maintenance episode, so we're gonna go through, see what we've done so far, fix little things so that we can leave this in a good spot. Uh, because I wanted to take a quick break from Portsmouth. This is going to be a long ongoing project I wanted to start working a little bit on some campuses and maybe drop those into some of the existing cities and go back and see You know Wood Garden and, and Springdale and all these other ones um, So The crime happening over here. Let's let's take a look through and just again see where our city is at Looks like we've got a lot of water coverage. What did I do? Can I put pumps over here? Where did I... Do I still have water towers? Where where are my pumps? That's freshwater outlets I was using to, uh, to clean out some of the sewage. Where? Okay, yeah, we are still using water. There we are. Got to get these out of here at some point. Um, that's going to be a project. Maybe we can hide it over here. Let's try that. Uh, it's, in, it's in landscaping, isn't it? So, this one? No, that's rocks. Let's do a deep. We don't need to do wide, do we? Just deep canals, fine. Where can we get power over here? We're gonna have power coming over to here. So maybe we can hide it, kind of hide it over this way. I don't remember where our shipping routes were. Man, is that is that canal there? <laughs> did I make a canal? Okay, I did. Wow, that's tough to see. Uh, so let's see if we can snap our water structures to that, so we can get rid of those um, the water towers. That should be enough, I think. They produce more water than the, the towers do. We'll just get this connected wherever we can. We will come through here. Do something like that and then power though we're gonna have to run some power up there for now or we could I was gonna say we could do a basic road network but I don't want to I don't want to commit to that just yet so let's just bring it from over here for now A little bit of slot pipe, but what can we do? We're moving our water towers out. Okay, don't, don't, don't walk up on me. Please. I feel like the lag's been getting a little bit worse every time, every time I load the city up. There's some point during the, uh, the recording that I'm just, uh... Is there a... Somebody let me know in the comments down below if you play on PC. Is there a bulldozer tool where I don't have to confirm this? And I guess I, instead of clicking 
yes, I could just hit enter on my keyboard and it's going to be a lot faster. I need a faster bulldozer tool for stuff like that. Uh, let's see where water is at. Was I looking at electricity availability? Water availability is pretty good. We'll keep an we'll, we'll keep, I was gonna say we'll keep an eye on that, but we're right here. We're doing maintenance. Don't don't fix it later, mouse. Fix it now. We're just gonna bring it up comfortably into the green so that we don't have to worry about it for a little bit. Three more should get us should get us up there. We've got a decent budget right now. It's not as as much as I would like to be making, and that's certainly overkill. But I want to again get this in a good spot where we can put Portsmouth away maybe for a week or two, uh, visit some of the other cities, do some campus stuff on console, and I want to come back to this and hit the ground running, start working on my next project, not um, kind of do maintenance as I'm going through. So power wise, we're good, and we do have these. Uh, solar updraft towers we can turn on. In fact, if we turn this one off and still... We're still okay, right? We have two nuclear power plants. Which seems excessive for a city of 44,000 people. Some of the scaling just doesn't work, in my opinion. Ooh, we got a bit of traffic happening down here, huh? Uh, yeesh, yeesh. Holy cow. That's four lanes too. Man. Maybe we split this off a lot earlier. We gotta do something. We've just got too much traffic coming through here. I'm gonna throw it back on day because I know it's a lot easier to see. So so much traffic. This merger may need to happen a little sooner, too, because it prevents all these cars. I guess it doesn't matter from getting this first block, but this first block is just service, which should take that inner loop anyways. But man, did I make a mess over here. This is just all slowing down, which is slowing down onto there. So maybe what we could do... This is just going to create another merge point. <laughs> but maybe we can tell some of these cars, like, don't even bother. Get on the highway. Just come over here. Come on over. Do something like that. Will that prevent them from getting on the highway? Technically, the highway... There we go. Yes, it will. Uh, let's let it play on three times speed and let's see if I can get the speed limits to work. That is parking restrictions. Hundred and thirty. And now all these cars on the highway are waiting for everybody over here. But this should help. Yeah, look at all the traffic it's offloading from that exit. Just to kind of give them a direct route over here to get into the zone. So I still need to work on this. This is this is too clogged here. But this is also all that traffic that was just getting backed up. So that that might sort itself out. We'll see. We'll we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but I I couldn't I couldn't look at that beautiful turbine intersection getting so backed up. It does support a ton of traffic. But it can it, can, it wasn't even the turbine that was getting clogged. It was just this this outer loop so hopefully that settles down but uh but we'll see we may need to do some more things over here to improve so power and water are good for now let's look at our garbage coverage looking pretty in the green everywhere yeah we're good somebody said in the comments like hey you don't have a dump over here but uh, we do have an ultimate recycling plant right down the highway, so that has a massive radius, and we just have way more garbage processing than we need. You can see the uh, the production 
So we're producing 246,000 units per week and we're able to process 868,000. So uh, we should be good and, and it does have a really impressive range. Uh, we could probably turn off we have a recycling plant right here. We have four recycling plants right next to residential. Let me check the pollution real quick. It's not bad. It actually looks like it just reduced a little bit. But I wonder if we can get these out of here. Let's see what uh, turning these off does for our... What do they process? Let's turn off these two on this side of the street. Because they are a little bit closer. There's a little bit less buffer. Right? There's a little bit more room over here where it won't affect the... Um... That pollution bubble is getting smaller. Uh, so if we look at our processing capabilities... Yeah, we dropped down about 50,000. We're still three to four times kind of where we need to be. And from a coverage aspect, did that affect anything negatively over here? Looks like our country club might pile up a little bit of garbage, but other than that, we're in pretty good shape. We'll probably have to do some satellite recycling plants as we get way over towards the edge of the map. But look, actually, look at the highway. The highway only starts to get gray over here thanks to the ultimate recycling plant. That's crazy how far they can go. Uh, maybe it's this one, but I don't think it is. I think it's the ultimate recycling plant that uh, that provides that coverage. Education-wise, we've got elementaries spread out all over our city. I I'm pretty sure I can. I'm pretty sure I can get rid of these now. Uh, that you have the collider. It, it, it's more of a um, an aesthetics thing. Like I want to see when we kind of fly around these neighborhoods. I want to see, you know, these middle schools and high schools and things like that mixed in there. We did, wrong button, we did spread out some high schools, spread out some elementaries, and we got rid of all of our universities. That highlights as a university, but the university effect is turned off. That's the Collider Monument. And over here, let's see how our, let's see how PU is doing. Uh, academic Works. New method to reskinning might revolutionize the beauty industry. The missing link. Missing link has been found by scientists. Do provide a lot of answers. And the universal solution. Any answer everything in a numeric form. That is the number 42, by the way, in case you were wondering. Uh, okay, so academic works. Let's do... We discovered something before, right? Let's do a scientific study. We'll keep the staff budget all the way up. And we'll give them some money, which will tank our budget for a little bit, but it should... So we could be making money on lunch. Wait, does that turn that on? Okay, no, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna give away healthcare. We're not gonna give away free lunch. Visiting scholars, university education. So we haven't done any varsity sports yet. We'll wait on that. Looks like we've got, so we've just gotta wait for the school year to complete and we will have Hopefully another academic work. We've got enough students. We need a more attractive campus. Um, let's pause. Let's. I know I'm getting distracted. I, squirrel. But let's get this where it needs to be so that while that academic work is happening in the background, it, it just handles the rest for us. So if we come over to, was it Standard University? Student capacity. Uh, we're over capacity, so we need more dorms, and we need to make it more attractive. So let's add in a couple more dorms down here. Uh, let's do something first. Let's connect some 
foot baths. There's not parallel. There are. It's a little crooked on my screen. Right? It's just the angle I'm looking at it. Okay, so we've got some footpaths so people can cut through. Do we want to do one kind of sideways like this? That might be kind of cool. Just to switch up the the geometry of the space a little bit. Put that kind of in the middle. I think we can even get a footpath through here, right? Probably. We have to anarchy it, but might look nice. Uh, we'll turn snapping off. Okay, now I'm not going to anarchy that. That's just too much. Too much. So let's come back here with a footpath. There we go. And then we'll do two more dorms the way we had them lined up over this way. Because our school is very popular. And that is going to greatly increase our capacity. And we'll see if it fills up. Play? 2,400. So that, that actually gets us almost to where our standard university can support, which is kind of crazy when you think about how big this is versus, like, it's the size of a, a dorm, and it supports, what, 4,500 students? 4,500 students. Yeah, look at that. Look at that difference. That's crazy. That is crazy. I guess that's a, a, a commute university. They don't have people actually boarding there in a building that small. So it does create a very different aesthetics um, for the campus. Uh, let's see, what, what can we do about attractiveness? Does it rate... Does it have attractiveness ratings? We have everything unlocked. School of Science. So we have different schools that we can drop in here and they will affect things in the city. So um, with a university, faculty increases campus attractiveness. Of course, you raise cancer. Yeah. Okay. Um, income from all specialized industries is increased while reducing city pollution and electricity consumption. That's pretty cool. City healthcare to run more efficiently with increased ambulance count and patient capacity. Uh, yeah. Crime rate and police department upkeep is reduced throughout the city. We don't really have problems with any of those things, do we? Maybe, maybe crime. So if we could, if we could improve crime rate, healthcare. Or industry pollution and effectiveness. Let's look at that real quick. Wrong, wrong, wrong button. Um, so crime rate five percent. Okay, we could improve that. That's not terrible though. Pollution pretty much zero, except for the recycling plants where they actually sit. And then healthcare. 44 six citizens um, even though it affects pollution it also improves industry which should should increase our income though we don't have a ton let's see this one all specialized industries Income from all specialized industries. So does that not include the base the base industry? We're at 19,000 budget right now. Let's see if dropping in a school of science. Wow, that thing's huge. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this one should be on its own road. Uh, let's see. Let's let's extend our road networks if we can let's 
We'll come out 30 units. Uh, I probably could just, I think you can just delete the last segment. Can you please snap where I want you to just because, thank you. Just because I like those even numbers. Oh, it's ridiculous, I know. Ah, oh, man. So this one, you need to flatten out the terrain a bit more to prevent that kind of stuff from happening. Or if you have fine road tool, uh, when we select a road, where is it? This one. So force, force it down. There we go. You can also force uh, an elevation. So even if it's flat, it's gonna it's gonna do little guardrails. Let's turn that off before I forget. The fault behavior is fine for me most of the time, but it's nice to be able to override little funny things like that. So, back to schools. This is quite the sidetrack. Let's, uh, let's drop this in. We'll have to do, we'll do some footpaths and some other stuff. Let's see where that puts our campus. 505 of 450, we have the students. We just need that academic work. So we will come back to that. Sorry for the distraction. Happiness is okay. <clears throat> it looks like we need to drop in some more uniques and parks and just kind of beautify our city a little bit so that will be definitely a project coming up healthcare we saw we do have 44 sick people but that's not bad at all uh, considering we don't have the medical center monument right yeah we're, we're doing we're doing great with just standard healthcare. so let's not worry about that one Levels wise, most of the buildings are at their highest level. I don't think we have any offices on the map yet, and we do have all that uh, industrial demand. So I think what I'm going to do is do a little office park over here. We're going to high rise ban it, but we'll still kind of keep it off on its own. But this would definitely be make more sense for more commercial and more um, industrial, which office meets. Uh, expansion so we'll do we'll do some of that over here I don't want to overload this and put more more traffic into it it's doing okay but now you can see we just we just keep moving traffic problems around now the problem is over here where this is all backing up so let's upgrade this to four lane right that's only three lane over here Highway, four lane, and that way we have kind of a an on an on ramp, right? An on lane that also should give us a dedicated exit lane right here. It does, so that should help that out a little bit because you've got these three lanes that are. Going straight, unless everybody's trying to get off the highway at the next exit, including the people that are coming from before. It's backed up. Well, this is going to be a project. We may have to make this a larger highway. But you can see it is it is supporting a ton of traffic. Just not doing it the most efficiently. Anyways, we're looking through. I keep getting distracted, it's the worst. Okay, wind we don't really care about because we're not doing any wind power on this map. Maybe late game we'll we'll add some of that just for appearance and, and we'll do some of the you know the cinematics and show um, some windmills up on the hill, but I'm not too too worried about it. 75% traffic, right? We're not we're not bad. But it's these same spots that have been constant problems for us. So, you know, this is a roundabout off the highway that goes another roundabout. Not necessarily set up the best way. We've got, you know, this neighborhood that has to funnel through here. 
Um, but a lot of this is built on things in the real life Portsmouth. So we were going for some realism, not necessarily. <laughs> I love this. Uh, this. This hill is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this. <laughs> it works though. It keeps them from crossing the street, which helps the traffic flow a little better over here. Man, I made this, I made this a little, a little oval about, huh? A little oval about. All right. Where are we at? Pollution, again, we don't need to worry about thanks to the, what do you call it, monument? <laughs> Hang on, I got this. It is the Eden Project. Whew. Man. Okay, noise pollution. Highways, we didn't do any, I don't think we did any noise barriers in the highway. We have some of these main throughways that really support a lot of traffic. And then the residential areas are actually kind of tucked away a little bit from that noise, which is good. Industry and airports, very noisy. Highway, the mall. So there's some spots, but it's we're, we're keeping it for the most part away from where our residents are. This is a little, I didn't realize how noisy this building is, the old Market Street. These people just, just must all be shouting at the top of their lungs all day long because there's practically no cars around here. It's a little odd to me that that would be that noisy. This is a very important one in my cities. <laughs> Fire coverage is definitely light over here, huh? We gotta we gotta sort that out. Oh, and we never added a second fire department for up here. So, do we have a large fire station? Does that large fire station only goes that far? And it totally drops off up here. So what if we did this? We're gonna move a couple businesses out. What's the upkeep on these? So, so I can do about three of these. How far does this get me? I guess it's better. We'll do that and can we get away with just one more just so that everything's in the green and very low risk of fire. That would be nice. We have a fire station at our airports. We have a little uh, firehouse at the university. And then we've got a couple dry spots in here. Why are these a fire risk when the roads are nice and green? This definitely over here needs something. So let's, let's cram one in right here. That gets us pretty good and into the green. Let's power through and see. We need some police stations. We get one right next to this. That would be too nice, right? So we'll do that for police coverage. We don't have a lot of crime, but let's keep it that way. How is this down here for fire? Okay, we got coverage over there. That's good. Uh, police pretty much in the green. What is what's the complaint over here? Okay, the police just arrived at the Best Buy, Home Depot. Oh, whoops. Let's do that. We'll cover this uh, this peninsula, I guess. Space already occupied. I can't even tell where the pipe is. There, there we go. That's what, 
what he said. Um, all right. Uh, crime. Crime was okay. Transportation. This is going to be an overhaul that we'll have to look at. I know people like to see it, though, so let's see what our metro is doing. So I got to change the color of the lines. So this is a little easier to understand. This is our new university line. Uni green. So I connected the university into the end of these stations. But we're moving we're moving a decent amount of people. What's the most popular one? The yellow line, which runs right through all this suburban, or I should say low density residential, and up into the red line, which connects into the commercial and mall area. But that'll be that'll be a major overhaul that we'll look at. Twenty two percent unemployment. Holy cow. I need to meet the commercial and industrial demand. So that might be a really important project to start on next is is bringing some high rise band office space up here into this portion of the map. Land value good and in the green anywhere we have a tile. You can see where we haven't bought tiles just drops off immediately. Um, Resources, we're not so concerned about. We could get some oil drilling going. I put a couple pockets in when I created the map. But uh, but yeah, that, that's if we want some future expansion. It might be kind of fun to do a little, a little oil processing place over here by the airport. And get some shipping going. Just to, just to kind of make the map really kind of busy and alive. Even if it is spread out a bit. That's districts. We don't really care about that. Parks and plazas and unique buildings and leisure... Um, can I get this on a lower angle? So you can kind of see like where I've got a lot of stuff in the downtown area over here. I think parks and plazas are going to be pretty similar. I've definitely underserviced, you know, the neighborhood. So we want to get some little parks in. We want to um, improve the land value. Well, I guess the land value is all the way up, but we want to give them more um, leisure and that should increase happiness. Uh, we haven't done a lot of park areas. See, downtown again is well serviced, but we'll we'll do some things there. That'll be again another overhaul that we'll have to look into. Terrain height we don't really need to examine. Heating we don't care about. It is a balmy 53 degrees. T-shirt weather. Dropped our. Uh, Road maintenance. We haven't done any road maintenance depots, which the roads aren't bad, but they can get better. And uh, it improves and can boost the uh, the roads. We're not playing with natural disasters, so we don't care about escape routes or radio coverage or destruction or disaster detection. So that certainly speeds things up. We can take a look at kind of where people are going and, and really start to sort out some of our traffic. Tourism... The city attractiveness is pretty good. We haven't maxed out all our monuments and unique buildings and all that stuff. Um, so that that will suffer a bit in the uh, in place of realism. Uh, park maintenance. Don't have any industry areas. And we don't have any post offices. So um, we really rushed through that second half. But the important stuff was up at the top of the list. Let's hit play. Let's throw it on cinematic camera mode. And say goodbye to Portsmouth Bridge. I'm glad that they built. <laughs> I'm glad they did that pedestrian bridge to start our cinematic mode tour. It's awesome. So that'll let, let's say goodbye to Portsmouth for just a couple weeks. I want to go back and visit some of the cities that I said I would go back and visit. And I mean it now. And we're going to add some campuses in. We're going to do some different things. Maybe we'll do a, a different campus build on, on each one of the cities. We'll squeeze one into to Springdale, to Wood Garden. Um, maybe we'll go back and visit uh, Winterfell. So uh, bear with me over the next couple episodes of the Monday, Wednesday cities. And uh, and we'll do some campus content on console and, and go revisit some of the, the towns uh, that we previously built on the Let's Plays. And then I'm thinking maybe two, three weeks um, of that, of some campus content and console content. And then we'll jump back probably into Portsmouth because I absolutely love this build. It's still got so much to do. Um, before we're anywhere near completion 
and uh, and even once we build it all in, we can go back and kind of detail things and uh, really get down to the nitty gritty details. But I'm still shooting to have cities episodes Mondays and Fridays, maybe Wednesdays too. But but I've been trying to do something a little bit different. Um, numbers wise, they're not the most popular videos. A lot of people are here for cities content, but. Uh, some of you were subscribers before I really got to cities, and um, I, I do have fun, you know, playing other games, and, and I wanted to start sharing those in the channel. Um, views or not, it's it's fun for me to uh, to kind of uh, record some gameplay and give some opinions and, and, and talk about games that I really like. So hopefully you tune in for those. If not, no hard feelings. If you did enjoy this episode, though, likes, comments, and shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe for more and consider hitting the bell to get notifications for updates in this and other series. Follow me on Twitter and join the Discord if you want to get involved in the discussion. And until the next one, which will be Campus on Console, and uh, we'll come back to Portsmouth again in just a few weeks, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.